tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. If your client asks you to create a walking character who is then being lifted up with an elevator into maybe the next level of a computer game, this can be very complex and very easy to start with. And I give you a nice start for a layout, basically. We need a character for this, and we have uh, several characters in the Maya content browser. But I just uh, used one of the 3D rigged people here from um, the render people, which is free to download. And um, I create a new project in Maya. And then I load that character into the scene. There are several versions of Carla, for example. She's one of the women in, in that three-person scene. Uh, there are several versions, the V-Ray version, for example. Uh, the non no control rig version. We need a control rig because we want to animate her. So I just um, open the HIK native Maya scene, which is a Maya ASCII scene. And I don't save what I have. I have nothing anyway. And then the character lands in the scene very big. I press the key 6 in order to see the textures. And here I have the character attribute editor, so to say. And here I can see that she is rigged. She has these green points here. Next thing I always need to do when I'm in character animation, I go to Windows and the Settings Preferences and the Preferences in order to change the dimensions. They are in the middle here, Settings, and I change them from centimeters to meters. It doesn't seem to change anything, but it changes everything. Uh, when I press the key A now, uh, she is on the grid and not gigantic as she was introduced into the scene earlier. Now, she is um, a rig, she stands in a T-pose, and I want to give her uh, uh, the animation of a walk. I could animate her by hand, but uh, I, I'm lazy, and uh, this is a short tutorial, I try to cut it short. Uh, I go to Windows, and um, you find in the general editors, the content browser, in later versions of um, Maya, you find the content browser right here, somewhere there. Uh, but I'm working with Maya 2020 currently, so uh, with the student edition, which will run out soon, I guess. I open the content browser. Here I have the prefab characters, which are built into Maya. They all come from the render people as well. And I go to the motion capture, here I have FBX, and here I need to pick something where she will actually not run very fast. So I have a, a simple way to animate her before she's been lifted up or taken down by the lift. How about walk to stand? I double click this, it lands in the scene, it's that skeleton behind her. And now the thing is easy. By the way, if you don't have this attribute editor, you need to go to Rigging, which is here. And under Rigging, you find under Skeleton, the Human IK. That's basically this part here. Uh, let's meditate briefly on uh, what we see here. We see a character, which is Carla Rigged. That's her. And we see as a source of her, the skeleton inside of her, which controls her, is that control rig, which puts her in a T-pose. And it's not that animated walking and standing still skeleton. We can easily transfer this motion into to her by changing the source. We have none, and we have the walk to stand one. Now she actually walks with that skeleton. This is an amazing and amazingly easy task, which was just not possible in, well, 10 years ago. And we're currently in summer 2022. Now um, I need a reference on the floor. So she actually walks on, well, for example, boxes. Let's go to polygon modeling and create a few boxes. Now she walks on these boxes, 
which looks so nice and it's so easy. We have a foot reference for the steps and with the last box we'll create that lift. Uh, and you need to know what you're gonna lift up or down. This is of course the motion we have. Let's open the walk to stand reference here and we have the hips for example that's the base of the skeleton and that's already what we need. That's the base of the, con uh, the source skeleton the running character and uh, you see here that uh, the this skeleton has keyframes up till frame 115 and when we extend the range nothing happens here this is the end of the of that animation and right here we can now lift her down just let her stand here for uh, half a second or so and uh, now i animate this skeleton plus the first cube and I set the keyframe by pressing S. Now I have a keyframe for both of them and then I go all the way to 200 and lift her up or down and set another keyframe with the key S. Now the whole animation looks like this. She walks and then she's been transported to the next level. That's all I wanted to show you today. Nice rendering, of course, needs good light. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.